Today, we are going to talk about how you can get a snapshot of your finances in just five minutes. Hey everybody, I'm Alicia and I'm a personal finance coach who is passionate about helping people break that paycheck to paycheck cycle so they can finally find some peace of mind when it comes to their money. Now, part of gaining peace of mind with your money is actually having an idea of where do you stand? What is your financial fitness looking like right now? What are the things that you need to know about your finances in order to even start? A lot of people, when I ask them that question, they say to themselves, well, my income is X, Y, Z. So that means my financial fitness is ABC. And typically, yes, income does play a part in your financial snapshot, but it's not the only one. Exhibit A, 10 years ago, my husband got a job that promised to double our income. And I thought to myself, cool, we have just reached this threshold that means we're free. And in reality, three months living into this new income, we realized, why is there more month at the end of our money? I don't, I don't understand where's our money going. So I went back and looked at our spending and realized that we were spending way more on things that didn't really mean that much to us. And it was pretty insightful to see how quickly and easily we increased our spending as the income increased as well. So I would say, even though my husband's income went up, our financial fitness really just stayed the same. So how can you get an idea of your financial snapshot in just five minutes? The first thing you're going to do is drum roll. What's your income? <laughs> Consider your income. Of course, that's the first place to start. So this doesn't just include your salary. It's also going to include your commission for those of you who are commission paid. If your grandpa pays you a hundred bucks every year for your birthday, be sure to include that bonuses. Seriously, just think of any money that you expect to make throughout the year, add it all up and write it down. Next step is to gather all of your bills. Now, these are not just your monthly bills, but don't forget to include those quarterly bills, biannual bills, annual bills. We're talking Amazon Prime here. Some people pay their car insurance every six months. Don't forget to consider those bills. Write them all out. Next thing you want to do is figure out your day-to-day -day spending. What are you spending on groceries, gas, restaurants, clothing, Fido, the kids, school supplies, stuff like that? Maybe look back a few months to get a good idea of what you've been spending on stuff like that and go ahead and list them out. Okay, so now that we've got our income, our bills, and our day-to-day -day spending, take a look at those numbers real fast before we move on to the next step. Think to yourself, are my bills and my day-to-day -day spending aligning well with my income? So first you want to look at the numbers, okay? The next thing I want you to think about is, is the stuff that I'm spending money on worth the time that I spent to work for the money to pay for that thing? Or do I maybe want to adjust some of my spending to better align with my values? The way that you answer those questions is going to give you a lot of insight as to how financially fit you really are. And then there's two more things I want you to do. The first one is to gather all of your debt numbers. What is the total balance of all of your debt? We're talking car, house, credit cards, personal loans, stuff like that. Now, hopefully you considered the payments for these debts when you listed out your bills, but now I want you to look at the total balance of all of those debts and really consider that number as a whole. The next thing I want you to do, and this is the last fifth step, is to gather all of the money that you have in savings. Now, this can be in a personal savings account. Don't forget retirement. If you have any money in retirement, you're saving up for kids, for college, and consider how much money you have in savings. Look at that number. Does this number make you feel like your future is secure? Does this number make you feel like if an emergency happens, you'd be in a good place? Once you've done all five of these steps, now you know what your income is. You've got a good idea of your bills, your spending, 
your debt, your savings. You want to look at all five of those things holistically, and that's going to help you figure out your starting point. That's going to help you figure out how financially fit you really are. It's not just about the numbers. It's about the psychology of it. Is your spending, is your debt, is your savings, is it all aligned with your values? Is your money doing for you what you really want it to do for you? Also, if you feel like every single month you are just living paycheck to paycheck, your checking account just has zero dollars in it from month to month, you may want to consider building up a buffer in your checking account. And if that's something that interests you, be sure to check out this video. We'll walk you through how to make that happen. Of course, if you hit any roadblocks in your financial journey, we are here to help you. We have personal finance coaches who are eager to step in and walk alongside you. So if that sounds like you, go ahead and schedule a call with us. We've got a link below you can follow, get on the schedule with one of our coaches and we'll be sure to get your money moving in the right direction. Also, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks guys.